Hello avid followers, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Barron is the only child of Melania Trump, the president's third wife and the current US first lady. The three most recent presidents, Barack Obama, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, were fathers only to girls, and were, as were Lyndon B. Johnson and Richard Nixon, who followed on then from JFK. The presidents in between them, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush, all had sons, but they were adults who lived outside of the White House. Therefore, Barron is the first son of a president to call the White House home since Mr. Kennedy's son, John Jr. and Patrick in 1963. However, in another break from tradition, he and his mother, Melania, did not move to the White House straight away. Instead, they stayed behind in New York so that Barron could finish his school year before moving to Washington, D.C. in the summer. The first family's living quarters are located on the second and third floors of the White House. Like their parents, children are allowed to decorate their own spaces, according to Chief Historian of the White House Historical Association, Edward Lingle. The family can also control how they use their private quarters. The Bushes, for example, were very open, with Laura Bush even letting documentary filmmakers in New York correspondent Jody Cantor told Chicago Magazine in 2012. In contrast, the Obamas were much more private, the attitude being that this is Sasha and Melia's home. The White House has a basketball court, a jogging track, a swimming pool, a cinema, a billiard room and a bowling alley, according to Town & Country magazine. However, for Barron, these quarters may well be a step down from his home in Trump's Tower in New York City, where he had an entire floor to himself, which his mother referred to as Barron's living room. While previous White House children tended to find that the tight security makes it difficult for them to have privacy, some of them came up with creative ways to have private fun within the White House walls. According to Mr. Lingle, Jimmy Carter's daughter Amy had a treehouse built in the grounds, while Chelsea Clinton made herself a secluded breakfast nook. The White House also comes with a full kitchen staff ready to make anything upon request. When President Trump first moved in, he apparently stacked the kitchen with Lay's crisps and Coca-Cola. Barron has no doubt been able to stock up on plenty of his favorite foods too. Due to his age, Barron is not as involved with public life as his older half-sibling Ivanka, Donald Jr., Eric and Tiffany. He is really pictured with his mother and father, usually only when stepping off Air Force One after traveling to and from Mar-a-Lago, Trump's Florida resort. However, he has participated in a few events, such as the Easter Egg Roll, in which Barron watched his younger nieces and nephews compete. White House children also usually attend the annual Turkey Pardon, which takes place around Thanksgiving, and the National Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony in front of the White House grounds. Once Barron is old enough, he may also attend White House state dinners, like Mali and Sasha did in 2016. If his father is re-elected this year, Barron may well start to have an increasingly public role, but for now, he is focusing on his schooling. Barron's education is another way in which he differs from previous White House children. All the children of presidents over the past 35 years have gone to DC's elite Cook Quaker institution, Sidewell Friends, and Sasha Obama is still in attendance. However, Barron instead enrolled in the private St. Andrews School in Potomac, Maryland. Melania said in a statement, We are very excited for our son to attend St. Andrews Episcopal School. It is known for its diverse community and commitment to academic excellence. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next video.